Bit of an interesting one. Um, we posted a video about a weekend away when we went up to Kildare Water. We posted the video up and we had a few comments back about the video, which is really kind from anybody that did comment. Um, but we did actually get one comment from uh, someone who was a little bit concerned about our safety. So apparently Heather's husband is a, a gas fitter and noticed that when I was actually trying to light the gas during our um, steak cooking um, expedition that we had more comments on. <laughs> um, he'd noticed that the gas was burning quite high um, and obviously the types of flames and stuff like that and left us a comment saying that uh, did it come with the LPG uh, jet change kit um, to make it more compatible for LPG gas I'm guessing. This was something that I was really baffled about because at the time I honestly could not remember seeing anything in the box um, for me to change and obviously the, the hob itself is from Hong Kong so any instructions that was in there was microscopic and not very good anywhere. So obviously in my haste I'd fitted it um, everything seemed to be fine. We we had been, you know, boiling kettles and cooking it uh, previously, but then I decided, obviously based on the comments, I would have a good look around and see if I could actually find these these jets. Anyway, after hours of searching in the wrong place, um, couldn't find them anywhere. So the idea was that um, Heather's husband was really kind and explained um, that I would need this size spanner unloosen it out there's a size on the side of the jet and if I get something that's about 10% smaller that will be ideal for that so went into my shed this morning which is always a bit of a nightmare because it's rammed but whilst I was looking for the spanner I actually found the jets <laughs> so I'm just about to change these jets and then we'll see what the difference is so I'm sure it's going to be tremendous, certainly a lot safer. So let's quickly swap these out. Um, it is a seven mm box spanner. I've only got a small um, ratchet, but I have tried and it does actually fit. So let's see where we get with these. <coughs> so the jet is just in the bottom. Fat fingers, not sure whether I can get to turn this, easy enough. So apparently the, the difference is that uh, normal natural gas has, the jet actually has a bigger jet hole in the, in the top than what the LPG one does. Um, actually looking at that and what I actually have in the packet that's quite clear um, let's just get the packet open here so we can get this sorted yeah I'm not sure if the camera picked that up there but it is Quite a difference there on the size of the holes. So we'll now put the just compare them both of these, they both look the same. So try and get these in. Definitely do with uh, thinner fingers. Right, so what I've actually found is instead of putting that in and trying to twist it just with my fingertips it's actually easier because I've got such fat fingers to actually grab it and turn it to get it started in there and then I can use this socket to then nip that back up now the one that I took out 
was in there tight but wasn't super tight so I'm just going to try and sort of it was probably there just trying to replicate that tension in there obviously don't want to try and strip that uh, right so let's get this one built back up and then move on to the next one so this one looks actually sort of slightly different as the top of the jet so this is the replacement oh, get around the top this is the replacement one this is the one that I'm taking out obviously the the hole in the jet is definitely smaller on the LPG than the natural gas one this one actually has a recess in the top so not sure where what difference that makes this one's a little bit easier to get my fat fingers into and again I'll just nip that up it's about the same as that one and again get this one built back up It's ironic because when you actually put these together, they sound very clanky and clattery. But don't actually hear them when I'm driving the van, which is really good. Um, they don't actually rattle about. So, let's get this out. Moment of truth. Here we are, let's see where we're at. Beautiful. It still didn't stay on, that's just my fault. I keep turning the gas the wrong way. Yes, that's lovely, that one. Let's just try that back one. Has to be said, 10 out of 10 for Heather getting in touch uh, and her husband uh, offering the advice and the help absolutely fantastic there is a massive difference in the gas whether or not it'll make a difference to my steak coupon um, we'll say that in one of the the future videos but fantastic thank you so much for the comments and thank you so much for the help and advice that we've gotten on there um, brilliant till the next time see you soon